Now, let me show you how to calibrate your Range 2 scanner. And remember, you don't have to do the calibration after you receive your brand new Range 2 scanner. That's because we have already done the calibration for you in the factory. Okay, uh, perhaps after a year, and especially when you are feeling something is wrong, like when you are scanning something and the alignment is not right, and or like uh, you are feeling your scan is very noisy, then you need to do the calibration. But if you choose to do the calibration, even though you don't need it, it doesn't matter. It won't break your scanner. It's just a waste of time. Okay, so before you do the calibration, here is what you need to prepare. Your range to connect with a PC with Revel Scan 5 installed and this calibration board, one set, four of them. Now, first thing, connect your range 2 scanner to the PC via cable and put your calibration board like this, four of them, and combine them to a big complete piece and mind the alignment, it really matters to make sure the alignment is very well. But here is something, the orientation doesn't matter. So you can do like this, either this or this, doesn't matter for all of those, okay? And on the Rebel Scan 5 main page here, the scanner calibration, click that, it'll take you to the calibration program. Okay, now we add the calibration page. So first, read the instructions is very important. Like the first instruction, it says the scan, uh, the lightning environment should be not too bright or too dim. And actually, right now I'm in the my lightning condition is not that good because I'm filming in the studio. It's kind of strong. Okay, and the second thing is look at this this photo here. And as you can see in the picture, you are not actually you are not going to do the calibration in this way. Actually, you're, this is the correct orientation. So make sure your range two scanner is parallel with the shorter width of your calibration board. Okay, so next in instruction is, uh, well, we'll talk about that indicator bar later in the practice. So if you have a shaky hand, here is something I suggest. You can try to grab your scanner like in this way to make sure you have a solid grip instead of like, for example, if you're grabbing in the, at the end, it's gonna naturally be more shaky than grab this way. But do make sure you don't cover your scanner's camera when you're gripping like this, okay? And uh, sometimes in the, the software will ask you to tilt your scanner in a certain angle. And when you are doing that, do make sure you are tilting your scanner only at one direction at a time, like this or this, and don't do like like this, so that's not gonna work, okay? And same thing for tilting the backward and forward pitch angle, okay? So now, and if you are not new to this, you can just click this no prompt to close this instruction. And now the software asks us a chance to start practice, let's do that. Okay, click, and when you are doing the collaboration, it's better to stand up so you have a better control of your body. Okay, so now as you can see, there are three indicator bars. One is on the top scanner row adjustment, on the left is pitch adjustment and the height adjustment. So the row adjustment controls how much you tilt your scanner to the left and right. Look, now if I tilt left and right. Oh, I have to maintain the collaboration area. Look, right? And the pitch adjustment controls how much you tilt your scanner backward and forward. Look, if now I'm doing that, it's too much. Or forward is also gonna to be too much, right? So your job, and also the height adjustment, the height adjustment is controls how, how much heightness you got. Okay, so your job is to maintain the, this, these three indicator bar in green. So you need to control your your scanner like that, and you match the, the the white cross to the red cross. Okay, so it's too steady. Hold your scanner steady and pan. See, so that's how you calibrate. Just point your scanner. Just imagine you are doing like a FPS game and you are you are shooting in the center. Okay. 
Okay, now before the calibration, the software will ask to check the accuracy. And same thing when doing the in the practicing. Okay, first maintain the three indicator bar in green and pan your scanner. Oh, oops, oops. Okay, pan your scanner and match the, the red cross. Okay, when the data collected successfully, it'll tell us, so the software tells me accuracy check has passed, which means I don't need to do the calibration. But uh, anyway, if you choose to continue, it won't break your scanner, it just wastes of time. And because I'm showing you how to calibrate, so let's choose continue calibration. Okay, level one, vertical. So we need to hold our scanner and keeping it level and, and change, adjust the heightness and move it pan it around the collaboration board, okay? And same thing, doing the accuracy check and the, and the practice. Our job is to maintain the three indicator bar in green and match the red cross. Okay, data collected successfully. Now we need to change the highness. Now it's 70. Okay, again, match the red cross. Okay, data collected successfully. Oh, okay, now it's 80. Oh, that's a bit high. Okay, now vertical position has completed. Now level two, left side. And as you can see in the, in the prompt, now you need to tilt your scanner a little bit. Okay, now let's click next. See, now the row adjustment is on the left. So we need to tilt a little bit on the left. Oh, okay, even more. Okay, now change the highness and match to this red cross point. Okay, now left side has completed. Now right side. Same thing. Now we need to tilt to the right. Maintain it in green and change the highness. Match to the red cross. Okay, let's keep it there for a while. Okay. Okay, now right position has completed. Now last level. Front. Now we need to pitch our scanner about 30 degrees into the front. Okay, and uh, adjust the highness. Okay, now red cross. Okay. Now 80 centimeters. Oh, okay. Okay, now that's a little bit hard, but it's okay if you keep your hands steady, just do what the software asks you. Okay, last level, backward. Okay, tilt your scanner to the back. Okay. Adjust it. Okay, done. So now we just wait for a while to let the collaboration finish. Okay, now collaboration has completed. You can choose either to save the data from this collaboration process or discard it if you don't need it.